hello guys in this video we are going to discuss one type of classification of systems in that type the systems are categorized in in three categories so first is minimum phase system second is alpha system and third is non minimum phase system this is one type of uh, classification okay so in this classification three types of systems are there minimum phase system alpha system non minimum phase system so what what are the definition of these systems so what is minimum phase system a system in which all the finite poles and finite zeros lies in the left half of the s plane then it is called minimum phase system means all the poles and all the zeros of the system should lie on the left or half of the s plane in this region okay in this region then it is called minimum phase system uh, the minimum phase system gives angle less equal to 90 degree okay so angle should be less equal to 90 degree. angle will be less equal if the system satisfies this definition then its angle will definitely uh, less equal to 90 degree so uh, an example of minimum phase system is given here s plus 4 upon s plus 2 s plus 3 into s plus 1 okay means if you if you see here all poles and all zeros are, uh, lie in the left half of the s plane okay so what is the alpha system a system in which all poles and uh, okay a system in which all poles lies in the left of the of the s plane and all zeros lies should lie on the right half of the s plane which are and both the poles and zeros should be symmetrical about imaginary axis then it is called alpha system okay means all poles should lie in the left half of the s plane and all zeros should lie in the right half of the s plane and these poles should be symmetrical to these zeros okay both should be symmetrical so all poles all pass system gives magnitude of 1 and the phase angle varies between plus 180 to minus 180 okay and uh, example of all pass system is given here uh, s minus 1 upon s plus 1 if you see here uh, 0 s equal to 1 is in the right half of the s plane and s equal to minus 1 a pole is in in the left half of the s plane and both pole and zeros are symmetrical about imaginary axis and phase will be phase will be here between the plus 180 to minus 180 okay so actually here for this example the phase will be uh, g between 0 to minus 180 but uh, many other example will be there uh, for alpha system for which phase can be between them plus 180 to minus 180 so uh, another type of another category of system is non minimum phase system so a system in which one pole uh, one zero or more zero or one pole or more pole or both poles and zeros lies in the uh, right half of the s plane then it is called non minimum phase system means if a system is not a, a minimum phase system and not a alpha system then definitely it will be non minimum phase system okay so if uh, the one pole at least one pole or one zero or both uh, if they lie in the right half of the s plane then it will be non minimum phase system okay so the non minimum phase system gives the more negative angle at omega equal to infinity and the non minimum phase system may be unstable it may be unstable it may be stable also so non minimum phase systems example is why it may be stable if according to definition if uh, a system has at least one po one zero in the right half of the s plane then also it will be a non minimum phase system but it will be stable because all zero poles are lying in the left half of the s plane okay this one case i am telling about one case in which the system is non minimum phase system and system is stable but other for other cases if 
at least one pool lies in the right upper S plane, system will be unstable, although system is non-minimum phase system. So example is S plus 1 into S minus 2 upon S plus 3 upon S plus 5. So here two zeros S uh, one zero is lying on the right of this plane, other poles are lying in the left of S plane, and one zero is also in the left of S plane. Okay. So if we uh, take that same example ahead, so S plus one, S plus two. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay, same example I'm taking. So uh, if I multiply here uh, numerator and denominator by s uh, s plus two, okay. So this form will be like this. Now I will rearrange. I will rearrange both term means one s plus two. I will insert in this bracket and s minus two. I will take it out. Then this will be a minimum phase system because all poles and zeros lying in the left of s plane and this is a alpha system okay this is a alpha system this is a alpha system okay the, uh, this is alpha system because zero is in the right of s plane symmetrically pole is in the left of s plane and if you see this non minimum phase system can be represented as as a minimum phase system multiplied by alpha system okay so every non minimum phase system is nothing but the product of minimum phase system and alpha system and the phase will be phase of non minimum phase system is the sum of the minimum phase system and alpha system okay um, yeah, so this uh, property is very important this both properties the system is multiplication transfer function is multiplication of minimum phase and alpha system for non minimum phase system and phase is addition of minimum phase and alpha system so question is identify the curves abc in the given phase plot we have to decide which curve is uh, correspond to which type of system so minus 90 degree minus 180 degree minus 270 degree so so we know that for a non minimum phase system the phase of the non minimum phase system is sum of the minimum phase system and all pass system so we out of this three we have to take a combination in which the sum of two will give you uh, uh, the third one so it is clear that minus 90 plus minus 180 will give you minus 270 so minus 270 will be non minimum phase system and uh, on which will be minimum phase system which will, will be all pass system so for that we know that for minimum phase systems phase is less should be less equal to minus 90 degree so uh, uh, okay hey, one minute uh, that property I mentioned here. Okay, the angle is less equal to 90 degree. Okay. Mo okay. Then uh, so according to that, actually that should be minus 90, greater equal to minus 90. If you take modulus, then it's it less equal to minus 90. Then it will be minimum phase system. And for uh, from example also you will it will be clear that it will be all pass system okay um thank you if you have any doubt please write into the comment box okay